see a lot of families here. We see a lot of college students here. This is really a nice community event. We see people from uh, both town and gown here. Everyone's having a great time. They're participating in a fall festival. We just want people to come out and have fun and experience that sense of community that we're hoping to create here. Pumpkin giveaway is sort of the big uh, event leading up to our pumpkin festival. And so we give away a thousand pumpkins. People can come and get a free pumpkin. They take it home, they carve it, and then they bring it back at the end of the week and enter in the, in the jack-o'-lantern contest. We're able to do that because we have a really great relationship with the research farms at Penn State. Uh, they grow these pumpkins throughout the year and then we're able to work with them uh, to get them and, and make them available for people here at Pumpkin Festival. We have a number of different categories that they can enter it in. So if you know a standard face isn't your thing, uh, there's an Arboretum theme, there's a best pop culture theme, uh, there's a best Penn State theme, then those will be on display um, on both Friday and Saturday during Pumpkin Festival. So we'll have hundreds of jack-o'-lanterns on display carved by the community members. Uh, there'll be live music, there'll be food vendors, there'll be crafts and activities on Saturday. Um, so a bunch of fun stuff going on over the course of the weekend. This is a way for us to facilitate the community members participating in Pumpkin Festival. You know, it might be a barrier if people had to bring their own pumpkin. And so this is a way for us to give everyone a chance to participate in the Pumpkin Festival at the end of the week, regardless of who you are. So that, I think, is the takeaway, both for today and in general. You know, we really want the Arboretum to be an open and inviting place for everybody in the community and beyond.